New Mexico, the land of enchantment. Hi, it's Guy and Roseanne, and welcome back to Amore Van. Recently, we finished about two weeks of winter RVing in New Mexico, and we thought we'd share some highlights and the places we camped. We entered New Mexico from the north, so our first stop was near Cuesta, north of Taos, at Little Arsenic Springs Campground. This is one of several BLM primitive campgrounds in the Rio Grande del Norte National Monument. The campground features a beautiful view over the Rio Grande Gorge and has picnic tables, fire pits, and a pit toilet. The next day we were off to drive New Mexico's so-called Enchanted Circle. This is a beautiful scenic drive. Our first stop along the drive was the quaint ski town of Red River, where we stopped for breakfast, including a breakfast burrito you could land a plane on, half of which served as the next day's breakfast also. While the drive is beautiful, if you come in winter, be prepared for the fact that this drive takes place at high altitude and winter weather is possible. Roseanne handled this like a pro. We completed the Enchanted Circle in Taos, where we stayed at Taos Valley RV Park. This park is about two and a half miles south of downtown Taos. It offers full hookup sites, but we opted for a dry camping spot while also taking advantage of the hot showers. The RV park is a short walk from a bus stop for the free public bus that will take you downtown and back. It was also a short walk to some great Mexican food. Downtown Taos is fun and beautiful, but no trip to Taos is complete without a visit to the Taos Pueblo, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that has been continuously occupied by members of a Pueblo tribe for over a thousand years. Some of the remaining structures date back to the 1400s. It's a fascinating place, be sure to take the informative guided tour. After leaving Taos, we headed south through the Rio Grande Gorge, another beautiful drive. We were headed for Alamogordo near White Sands National Park, but had to stop first to see the world's largest pistachio sculpture. Talk about your bucket list items. All kidding aside, the tour of Pistachio World Farm was informative and the pistachios were delicious. When our pistachio brittle ran out a few days later, we were wishing we had bought more. In Alamogordo, we stayed at White Sands KOA, an RV park offering typical KOA amenities, some live entertainment, and another great view. The star of the show in Alamogordo, of course, is the National Park. The snow-white gypsum dunes are awe-inspiring, as well as fun for all ages. After Alamogordo, it was off to Truth or Consequences, where we splurged for an RV spot at Riverbend Hot Springs. The parking is just a tiny paved lot with hookups, but it comes with unlimited access to these amazing mineral hot springs along the Rio Grande. Next, it was off to Las Cruces, where we headed for the Dripping Springs Natural Area, adjacent to the Oregon Mountains National Monument. After a spectacular hike, we free camped for the night on BLM land. This was the view from our campsite. This land is your land. Still in Las Cruces, we spent a night at a great harvest host, the Rio Grande Winery. There were several RVs spending the night, and we all sat together in the winery, enjoying more than our fair share of some great local wines. Our final stop on our spectacular New Mexico adventure was Carlsbad. After a night of free camping on a very conveniently located BLM campsite with fire pit, covered picnic tables, and pit toilet, it was off to Carlsbad Caverns National Park. This place is yet another beautiful national park. While we hope you enjoy our pictures, pictures just cannot capture the magic of this place. You have to go see it for yourself. Well, we hope you enjoyed sharing our journey through New Mexico. We're off to Texas, so check back soon. We hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you next time here at Amore Van.